Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute your final grade for any college course that you're taking. Typically in a college course, professors are required to provide a syllabus and more often than not, on that syllabus you're going to see the grading rubric or scheme. You're going to see what percentage of your grade comes from exams, participation, labs, or any other assignments that the professor is going to assign that semester. So first refer to your syllabus and see how your grade is broken down. You should see the part of your grade, for example participation, exams, etc. And you should see the percentage of that part. Okay, So I'm just going to go off of uh, something that I typically do in my courses, which is give a little bit of credit for participation, encouraging students to participate, say 10%, give about 25% for two midterm exams, and then the remainder for the final. So as long as these add up to 100%, I'll be fine. So here the final is going to be worth 40%. Okay, put these in as decibels. Now, I encourage you to set this up in your own spreadsheet. It doesn't have to be on Excel. It could be Google Sheets or OpenOffice Calc or any other spreadsheet software that you have access to. Numbers, for example. And make this final um, column called Final Grade. This is where we're going to compute your final grade and this is kind of the point of this video. I get students every semester asking me, Professor, what do I need to get on the final exam in order to get a fill in the blank a b b plus etc so what I tell them is open up a spreadsheet put up the numbers from our syllabus everything is clearly defined in my syllabus and do a little algebra and uh, Excel and these spreadsheet softwares will help you with that algebra and solve for the grade that you desire so your columns may not be exactly the same as mine. You have, you may have more or less, and your percentages surely will be different. Just make sure that you put all the parts along with their percentage directly above them. Make sure that these percentages sum to one. You could do a little spot check down here. Okay, and now you're ready to go. What you need to do is put in at least what you've done so far. So let's say you've been participating, and so you could give yourself 100 on that. Let's say, uh, well, you hopefully have done some of these things because you do need to only have one variable, meaning one of these items empty. So don't even ask the question if you haven't taken the first and second exam or whatever it is in your case. So let's say you got a 80 on the first exam and a 73 on the second exam and you're getting ready to take your final exam and you're a little anxious because you need to pull a certain grade a certain final grade let me even go ahead and highlight this because that's the goal of our pro little project here and you ask yourself or maybe you ask your professor hey what do I need to get on the final exam in order to get a, a B plus and let's say in your school depending on what, where you go uh, B plus might be something like an 87 to an uh, 89 or something like that. So basically, let's ask the question. Let's let's make that our goal. I want to get at least an 87 for my final grade. So I want this to end up being an 87. And my question is, what do I need to get on the final exam given all the other conditions that I've clearly outlined in order for the final grade to become an 87. So to do this, we just need to do a little algebra. Um, there's a real simple and useful function here called goal seek, which I'm going to teach you. Go over to the data tab or ribbon. Go over to what if analysis. Check goal seek. And here we're going to input three items. First off, we're going to set the cell and that's going to be the final grade cell okay and we're going to specify to what number 87 because that's the cutoff 
by changing, and that's going to be the final exam cell. Okay, but we forgot to do one thing because that final exam cell is not tied into the computation of the final grade. So let's cancel this. Let's see how we would compute the final grade. So this is going to equal some product of these weights, comma, and these scores, and be sure to include the blank cell there. Hit enter. As of now, you got a 48.25 because it's seeing the final exam as a zero. So we're going to see what happens when we change this number. Let's say you get 100 on the final exam. Well, you'd get an 88.25 final grade. Let's say you got a 90. You get an 84.25. So instead of just playing with this number until you get the grade that you desire, let's find out what it needs to be what this needs to be in order for this to become exactly 87. So again, data, what if, goal seek, set cell, final grade to 87. So manually type that in by changing final exam grade, which is the one that's still variable. You still haven't taken this, presumably. Click OK. And you see that you'd have to get exactly in 96.875 in order for your total grade, which is computed like this, to end up to be an 87 and you get your B plus or whatever grade you desire. So next time you're wondering what, what you need to do in order to pull a certain grade, pull up a spreadsheet, pull up your syllabus, set this up. It should take you no more than five minutes and then run the goal seat. And one last thing about that sum product formula, I may have rushed it along. All this does, and I'll show you on the side, is it takes each weight and multiplies it by the score and then adds it to the next weight times that score plus the next weight times that score plus the next weight times that score. And you could see what I've done here right and you'll get the same value so just a simpler way to do all that when you're summing a product of a, a few elements use some product okay so i hope this was helpful in getting your final grade uh, till next time make sure to subscribe like and share and check out my other tutorial videos on drill Air academy have a great day